Hi, this is Peter from Livid, and I wanted to show you the new remote mapping for Propeller Heads Reason that I just finished for the OM64 that turns this into a comprehensive control surface for Reason. Uh, lets you navigate through the software um, and control different devices. It all syncs up and auto maps and provides feedback on the device. Um, and it's a lot of fun. Um, so first I'm just going to show you some of the basics. Uh, transport is mapped up here in the top row. I've got play, stop, rewind, fast forward, I'm going to jump ahead in the track, um, rewind of course, back to the start. And then we've got uh, record and overdub over here and then we've got navigation that will take us to different devices um, in the in the set. Um, right now I'm controlling the mixer so I have full control over the mix. Um, if I want to I can just solo this one um, and we can change the master volume. Um, we've got EQ. EQ is probably better shown with the drums. We can pan. Better turn the EQ on. or we can turn it off and do quick AB changes um, and turn on the rest of the tracks. These are all the mutes so we can mute everything or selectively put them back on. Um, and we've got different variations for the mixers so right now I'm in the standard uh, channels 1 through 7. I can hit F2 and now I'll be controlling uh, 8 through 14 plus master control and these remain pan and pan and EQ. If I go to F3, then that's going to be one through seven, but now I have control over the sends. Um, so you, you can have full control over the mixer just by using these different variations. And then the next thing that is worth looking at is let's try a different device. We can go up to this uh, synthesizer and see how I've uh, mapped the keyboard. I've reserved these three rows for the keyboard. And then I've got some special function buttons down here and up in the top right. Um, we can go ahead and play the instrument and, um, you know, do chords if we wanted to. And go ahead and start the track, play on top of it. And that's uh, pretty much all there is to know about that basic feature. Let me go to a different instrument so I can show you some, um, some better examples of how to use the keyboard. So now I've got a, an organ, which is a little bit more uh, harmonic. Uh, we can play some, harm, uh, play some chords here. So this will give you a good example of what you can do. And then if I press this top right button, it's going to take me into a minor key. Um, so it's easy to get working on some little uh, melodies because this is all mapped to a C major scale or C minor. If we want to transpose it, we can use our shift transposition buttons up here. and clear the, any transposition. If we want to go up an octave, we can use this, go up an octave, turn off our minor key, uh, clear transposition. So there's some a lot of good flexibility so if you're interested in songwriting you've got you know major and minor scales already nicely mapped out here if you're not an expert keyboard player you can get some really good sketches going um, with just the ease of having everything laid out in a simple grid um, every every device has its own unique mapping and you know whatever its current state will show you um, you know if we can go back to that 
synth that we had before, uh, the turnaround synth, um, since that is a Thor synth, it's got everything, you know, I've got six variations up here for all the different settings for Thor. Um, uh, F2 takes us to filters. So I can start doing some sound design on any individual sound. Um, we can go to the effects, turn off the delay if we want, or add chorus and manipulate those parameters with these knobs up at the top, which is pretty wild. Um, so again, you can you know start. You can get a preset and get a good good starting point, and then maybe you don't like the brightness of it, so you can take the filter down. Or you can go to the effects, which has its own filter on Thor, which is in the last in the chain, and then start tweaking out your sounds and make them make them how you want it, and then when you're ready to integrate it, you can start your song and start recording. And let's see how that came out. So that added a nice little color to this somewhat bland track that you probably all heard a million times as it's sort of the default Reason demo. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much a quick overview of some of the features in the map. Um, I'll probably be showing you some more details on you know some of the advantages of building it up, but I just wanted to give you a heads up uh, that it's out there and uh, hope you check it out. Hope you Reason users get into it because it really, really breaks out um, everything that you you want into all these devices not many controllers out there have this variety of controls and number of buttons um, laid out in a way that's functional rather than in a you know in a keyboard which is nice if you are a piano player but if you're not maybe it's not the best way to work with uh, software so check it out I'll be showing some more examples later on uh, take care